Excitement. Work ethic. Passion. Fun. Hard working. Good hockey. Excitement. In the hockey world, NHL players get the most press, but it's minor leaguers who actually make up the largest portion of pro hockey athletes worldwide. In their second season here in Connecticut, the Danbury Titans are bringing amazing skills and exciting pro action right to our own backyard. The first season of the Titans was really successful. We had a really good team. Danbury is known to have winning organizations. The Titans' first season was fantastic. We came in first place throughout the regular season and we made it to the championship round of the playoffs. So our goal this year is to bring that Commissioner's Cup home where it belongs in Danbury. First year organization, you're going to have some growing pains, but a lot uh, has improved in the last uh, few months here to, for year two. So first season was a learning experience. What I wanted to do is form a model of what Federal Hockey League is all about. So last year we struggled through it. We really had to kind of start all over and build fresh and really get everything going on board. The hierarchy works with the NHL being the pinnacle, direct feeders to the NHL. That's AAA hockey or the AHL. Below that is the East Coast Hockey League, which is considered double A hockey. And we are one of two leagues in the United States considered single A, which are feeder programs to the double A leagues. There are seven teams in the league. We have three on the East Coast, one in Canada, and three in Michigan and Illinois as well. And I just love the game, love the sport, love the players. And then when that opportunity came, I had called the commissioner, but and I said, hey, I might be ready for a team. So here I am, hockey team owner. I came in with a lot of support from the community. I live in Danbury. I'm all about downtown. I think the team is fantastic for the city of Danbury because it gives all the residents something to do on the weekends. It really makes downtown go alive, and it helps out with the local restaurants. So I think it's great not only for the hockey fans in Danbury, but for the city as a whole. A team in Danbury is very cool. We're very community-minded. We've done a really good job of putting this team in the front line in the city of Danbury, which I'm very, very proud of. Honestly, I gotta bring the cup to Danbury. That's the challenge. We need to win. We've been bringing in a lot of families and new fans, and they've been telling us over and over again how much fun that they've had. Everyone loves to watch the good hockey on the ice, but we have great contests, we have intermission shows, we have great prizes, we have probably the best chuck-a-puck. We have a booster club that does 50-50 raffles, so there's really a lot of things going on. It's fast, exciting hockey. These guys are hungry. Everyone in this locker room wants to be bigger, better, faster, stronger, and they're gonna leave their hearts and their minds on that ice to do so. If they wanna taste the professional hockey, where you're being paid as a professional, you live as a professional, this is that opportunity. The Danbury Italian players come from all over the world, actually. We have some local guys, and we have some players from Russia and Slovakia. They come from college, also play junior hockey. It's a great opportunity for players to move up in the world of professional hockey. I'm from Hudson, Iowa. Uh, this is my 13th year in the minors, and uh, played a little bit of everywhere. Played in Watertown in this league, in Danville as well. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And uh, prior to here, I played in the BCHL and I also played for Elmira College. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, I played uh, some junior hockey in Canada. I played uh, NCAA Division I hockey for American International College. I'm from East Patchogue, Long Island. I played for the Make and Mayhem in the SPHL and the Missouri Mavericks in the ECHL. They find us. These guys know. They know where they want to be. They know where they're going to get fed, where they're going to get paid, and where they're going to be able to sleep. And we happen to have a very good reputation. The facility, things like that are great here. and. We're lucky to have them in this league. The things that I look for that other coaches are looking at as well at higher levels are, can these guys play a system that they run at a higher level? Can their skills translate from our league to their league effectively? Can they be productive and can they exist in that environment? It's a little bit faster, it's a little bit stronger, it's a little bit quicker. There's a difference and it's noticeable. It's kind of the decision-making process. What plays are available and how the play is done. Everything's a little bit crisper from single A to double A to triple A to NHL. Hockey's a simple game and, and as you get higher in the levels, the, the cleaner, crisper, simpler you can be is when you really start to get noticed. Especially at this level, you want to be consistent. And as of late, I think we're, we're starting to find more consistency. For youth hockey players, I mean, just, you know, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself and work hard. Enjoy the game. Keep working hard and listen to your coaches. That's all you really have to do.